everybody, this is Taylor TB at Catch Up. I'm going to be making some Valentine's Day, Day cupcakes, you know, easy mode for the holidays. Um, <clears throat> the things you'll need, I already put a box cake. It's just, you know, box cake, um, cake mix. If you guys don't know how to use box cake, you just, um, you know, follow the recipe here. It, here it says, um, just vegetable oil. Um, eggs and water. Um, other stuff I'm gonna be using is uh, like I like I said, and this little heart tray, uh, cupcake tray, rubber. I got this on Amazon. I'm not really sure how many uh, of them left is, um, in stock, but there's, I think there's like either two, three, or four, or five, you know, left. Um, I'm going to be putting this in my Fe uh, February haul. I didn't do my January haul because I didn't get that much stuff, so I'll post it together, you know, both hauls together. Okay, let's get started. First, I'm going to be adding, you know, the one and one fourth cups of water. I don't have a full cup, you know, I only have half a cup of other ones, but I don't have a cup one, so I'm going to be using this. That's one cup there, then one more, then we add one more one fourth. Okay, then we need one half cup of vegetable oil. Then we need three eggs. I got the water on, so I'm able to wash my hands after, so I'm going to turn it off after. Quick rinse with my hands, get that egg yolk off, and just mix it. <clears throat> I usually mix it by hand with this because it's, you know, I always did, and it works good for me. I usually with like, um, what I do, take it from scratch, I use a blender. I'm going to be using a blender for the frosting. I'm making the frosting from scratch. So this is baking. It's like 14 minutes to have to bake so for cupcakes. I'm going to be making the frosting. There's going to be two parts to this video because um, I'm going to be letting this cool off. So once it's cooling, I, you know, I'm not going to really, you know, film. So I will uh, make a part two for decorating. I, this is my first, you know, video of making uh, desserts on this site. So if you guys like it, I'll do more. I'm not going to do that much. Definitely for holidays, I'll do something. And eventually, I'll do more cake and some scratch. But I want to do something easy for people. Let's say they've never actually baked before and they want to try it out. It's probably a really easy thing. I'm doing the frosting from scratch, but that's really easy to make. Do a little... What I do is if I see like cloth, I put it down a little bit like this, not too hard. It helps actually get some clumps down. Okay. Next, what you do is you take, I'm not really sure if this is rubber, but I still like to add a tiny bit, you know, just. You know, I'll get, I put too much in there, but whatever. Um, I only have a little extra, because there's only six here. I might make just some more, but I'll make that my own time. Usually, I don't get more food for this. <clears throat> okay, so 
just oops. Okay, take your it's okay if you spill some, you can just clean that off after. That's what I do, I wait until I don't like filling it up because sometimes, you know, I, I think it's still a little bit more, but I don't like filling up totally to the top because it you know, gets overflown and it gets really messy. It's kind of messy already, but I'm going to clean up the sides when I'm done. I already pre the, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, I already pre the, preheated the oven to 375. You should do that before, if you make cake or anything, you know, you should always preheat it beforehand because you need it to preheat for at least 20 minutes. So I preheated it already 20 minutes before I made this video, so it's good. It's a good tip to do, go like this if, if it's dripping. I probably dripping because I actually it the other spoon fell into the batter. kind of boring to you guys, you can just skip this part, you know, it's probably, it is boring, just me putting this in the, you know, the container, you know, the muffin trays, whatever, cupcake trays, but, you know, you could watch it if you want to learn how to do it if you've never done it before, so it's educational too, I mean, it does get messy. It's kind of a, it's really messy, so you just want to make sure it's all cleaned up. I think it's okay to use your, your hands sometimes, you know, when you need a, when they're all washed and everything, so, you know, it's not a big deal. I'm just gonna wait to clean up the table while well, I make the frosting. Yeah, I, I think that's good. Yeah. Okay. Okay, um, next you just put this in the oven.
instruments. I'm gonna set this to the side, and while that's baking, we're gonna make the frosting. One second, I need to look at something. Well, actually, I need to do something, so I will make the frosting part two. Okay, because I have to. Uh, just, I think it's kind of messy here. So, this is be my the the part one. So, if you guys like this, please look and watch part two. Okay, thanks.